What's going on, James Bond? It's here in this video. I'm going to continue on what I talked about in that video in regards to building a agency website, probably for brand new beginners or people looking into starting their own agency, whether it be a side hustle or full-time gig, it doesn't really matter. But in this video, I am continuing on uh, an easy way to get up an agency website that looks pretty good and is actually generated in go high level with custom values so you don't have to spend forever editing it uploading things and trying to figure out you know how to move certain things so kind of already done for you but what i've added to the previous video was some more custom values uh, a, a little bit of a better look and an on onboarding form an onboarding thank you page a custom phone number Take a look in this video and tell me if this is something that you're interested in me doing more in regards to other niches. Uh, in addition, if you want a copy of this, a snapshot of it, you can click in the description down below. It's uh, It'll be noticed down there. As well as if you want this and more of my trading, you could always sign up for our affiliate link for Go High Level. All right. With that being said, let me jump right into it. All right. Cool. So what you see on your screen here is, um, is a a templated website for, it's actually a funnel. It's a one page, well, it's a four page funnel uh, that includes um, basically the entire website on one page, the privacy policy and all that good stuff on another page, the onboarding page, and then the onboarding thank you page, okay? So let me preview this and just show you what it looks like. All right, so this is basically what it looks like, okay, simple easy to use okay these will be um i'll change these but what i liked what i did was not every agency offers all the services right so i'll show you what i did over here uh, as well as um i got a better looking funnel by the way as well as on the onboarding okay so let's jump right into it okay so let me jump out of here let me go into my custom values first let's go to settings custom values all right so agency phone number okay basically whatever i put here is going to be generated on the website okay like my logo is over here i went through that in that in this um video here that logo is over here okay um agency name visibility cloud llc so i have custom values uh down here and i believe i don't have another one uh, because my logo is up here, but you could put those custom values anywhere you want on the site. Uh, my email, agency owner email for YouTube. This is all my stuff. I approve of it. Uh, agency owner email. Um, let me grab this. This is a good thing to show you. Grab this custom email. And let me go back into sites. All right, let me edit this. And by the way, if you click down in the description, you'll get the finished version of this. All right. Uh, if I scroll down... Let's say here, um, agency name. All right, so we'll make this white. All right, and then if I hit save, go here and I s refresh it, you'll see the, uh, right here, it pulls it, right? Again, custom values make things a lot easier, okay? So I'm gonna go back here. Now you may say, James, well, it's maybe it's easier to do it on here. It is, but when you first are starting and you're first setting it up, honestly, I'd rather just do it all here and just fill all this stuff out. For example, okay, privacy policy. All right, I'll it'll be my URL. Service and then service description. So let's let's talk about my first service. Let's do uh, service one value. Let's do uh reputation management right now if you want a like a cool way for reputation management for the description jump over to chat gdp okay uh, let me log in really quick okay um please describe in i don't know let's say 200 character let's say Please describe in short what reputation management is, right? So watch, I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. Monitoring, influencing, controlling the perception of individual 
Organizations are branded by shaping and controlling the information that is available about them in the public domain. The goal of reputation is to maintain positive image, enhance credibility, and build trust. Boom. Grab that. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go into description and I'm going to say, I'm going to rename it. I'm going to say, um, the goal of this service is to maintain, maintain a positive image, enhance credibility, and build trust among your business. Hit save. Okay. Um, then I'm going to go back over here. I'm just going to see how the layout is done. Right. And so let me fill these out. Now, obviously these things, you could change these images and stuff. Uh, let me fill these out. Okay. So, uh, like SEO, I added this into the custom values. We help optimize your website to increase its visibility and ranking and search results pages, search results pages, for specific keywords and phrases, lead generation, utilizing social media and search to help convert highly targeted traffic from a browser to a customer. Okay. So again, it's in my custom values. I put it right here. Okay. Privacy policy page, as I said, is just going to be a URL. I haven't set up the domain yet. We can do that, but I have so many other videos about that. Um, so I'll just grab this one. Okay. And then I'll go back into my custom values, put the value there, hit save. Okay, uh, phone number, I'll just put a fake one for now so you can see it. Uh, 973-694-7766, obviously not my phone number, nobody's phone number. All right, and then we can refresh it. All right, obviously it's not the best place to put this. I'll move it. Well, let's move it now. And we'll move it up here. All right, so we'll hit save. All right, phone number, done, okay? So here we are very quickly creating a very good agency website, okay? These will be placeholders. Uh, I'm not gonna do that now, um, yada, 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 right? Now, uh, what I wanted to show you on this video really was the onboarding, okay? Um, I didn't wanna waste time on the actual video, but here's our onboarding page, okay? So if you take a look at this onboarding page, they're gonna ask a bunch of questions. Go like that, uh, put your phone number in, business email, website URL. I gotta put something there. Business address, just put anything in there. Can you provide at least a testimonial, list all the services that you provide? I'm doing this for a client now. Uh, cheap, just don't worry about these questions. I just wanna show you. And then once I'm done with this, I don't have the URL set, but it'll go to the, I'll show you the page that it's going to go to. It'll submit. Okay. And then it'll go to this page. All right. Onboarding questionnaire submitted. We will reach out soon, but I'm going to put a phone number there. So we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to custom values and we're going to uh, take the key, go back into my site, edit this page. All right. Or you can call, obviously I'll edit this a little bit better, but, um, again, using custom values to really speed up the process. Okay. And then once that comes in, all right, you can go over to, oops. Yes, that's right. You can go over surveys, submissions, and you'll see here that I have this name, phone, email, organization, website, address, services that this person provides. Uh, any, can they provide testimonials? What service areas are they, uh, are they going to be working in? Um, can they provide images? Do they consider themselves cheap or are they middle of the ground? Or are they very, very expensive? I want to know for clientele, uh, what's their ideal client look like speed of service. Do they take forever to finish a job? Or are they fast describe your process? Are you willing to, um, provide offers and do you offer financing? Those are the main questions that I want to ask my new client. And so instead of sitting on a Zoom call, I send them the, the, the link, sends it back. Now, I have this entire process already done, uh, already done on my main business, right? I'm just redoing it here to show YouTube in case it's helpful. All right, so again, uh, that's what I wanna show you guys today. Uh, in the description down below will be uh, this snapshot. By the time I upload this, um, it probably won't be there probably for another 24 to 48 hours because I'm still working on finishing it 
so it's good enough for the snapshot. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and then you'll know when that snapshot is ready. And I always come out with videos once or twice a week. So make sure that you are subscribed so you get notified. Thanks a lot. Hopefully this helped a little bit. Peace out.